Hey everybody, this is Jim, and in this video I'm going to show you um, how to use pages. Now pages are extremely powerful. They give your apps the ability to have multiple pages, where heretofore apps just basically normally had one page. Um, so these multiple pages, one of the things they'll let you do is create mobile websites. Uh, I assume your website that you have for your business has multiple pages that people can navigate to. Um, and you would want the same thing on a, a mobile device as well. So uh, if your app, I'm sorry, if your website currently does not look really good on a, a mobile device, then maybe you might want to consider using my photo app to create a mobile website. So that's what I'm going to show you, an example how to create a mobile website with multiple pages. So before I get rolling, let me uh, bring in this diagram here to show you some um, concepts here. Pages are sections of an app that are only visible one at a time. So if I add like five pages to my app, only one of the five will ever be visible. And when I navigate to another page, the current the page that's currently visible will become un invisible. And this is um, what I would consider a typical layout where somebody will have some header information at the top, like maybe your logo, um, some information at the bottom, like the footer, maybe the contact information or copyright that you want to see on all the pages. And you'll have a bunch of pages here in the middle that you can navigate between. So let's build something similar to this. So in my uh, multi-site app or multi mobile website app, um, what I would like to do is have my logo be at the top, that's fine, and my contact information be in the footer section, and this gallery really doesn't fit. I want to replace this gallery with pages. So let me delete the gallery by clicking on the delete, and let me go up to the add section, and what I want to do is add a page. So let me add a page, and right now to Call, it's called page 11, which it defaults to. Let me move it up here under the logo, about where I want it to be. You can't see anything there yet because I haven't defined the page yet, but it's, but it's sitting here between the logo and the contact buttons. And while I'm at it, just to short, make a shortcut, I know I'm going to want to add a couple more pages, so let me do that. Let me add a page again and add another page and move them up. So i got page 11, 12, and 13. And don't worry about these numbers. They're just random numbers that... Uh, get assigned to identify one page from another. So uh, if you'll notice some things here, first of all, the icon's different. It now shows a page icon, which shows that a page is basically an app within an app, sort of, if that makes sense. So let me show you what that looks like. So let me click on page 11. And what it did is it brings up the page uh, settings editor. And what I can do within a page is add sections to it, just like I can with the main app. So I'll, let's add a section. So I'm going to add a section. Let's say I want to add some text. Well, let me do a markdown. I'm going to add some markdown text. And let me add another section to it while I'm up here. And I want to add an image to it as well. So let's call this page. I'm going to give it a label. Like this, this will be my... Uh, home page. How's that? Home. And for the markdown text, I'm going to click on it and start editing my markdown. And let me just put uh, Cook Designer. That's probably a little bit bigger than I want, so I'll put two to make it a little bit smaller. And then let's put some text in here like uh, Welcome to Cook designer portraits something simple like that for now and the image let me uh, come over here and drag and drop an image let me draw some pictures of us let's upload that image and now we've got um, a section if I wanted to add some more sections I can but let me just save this so this is my home page let me close this up and you can see right here Looks pretty similar to what I was designing in my home page. Perfect. And now let me create another page. And let's say this page is, and I'll call it my senior page. How about that? And let's add a section here as well. Um, 
Let's do the same thing. Let me add another marked up section and add an image. And for the markdown, uh, let me put in here, I'll just put a title. Um, our seniors rock or something, whatever. I don't know. Save what you want, save it. And let me add an image. I'll pull this image in here and drag and drop it in. And, well, that's not the greatest picture, but that's all right. <laughs> I randomly chose one and let me close it up. So what I've got now is, if you'll notice, I have defined two of my pages. This is the one that's visible. The first one by default is visible. And the second was the senior one. And when I click on the editor, let me click on it again so you can see what it looked like. Oops. I pushed the wrong, th I moved it around. Hold on a second. Click on it. And you can see what it looks like, but yet I don't see it over here. Because remember I told you only one page is visible at a time, but I've got these little magnifying glasses over here so you can see them. So if I move the, my cursor over the, uh, the magnifying glass, it will reveal that page. So when it's over top, it reveals the senior page. When I take it away, it reveals the default page, which is the first one, which is the home page. And let me pull this down where this was before when I accidentally moved it. And let's create a third page here. I don't know what this is going to be. Let's, um, let's say this is going to be a gallery. I don't want to go through the trouble of adding a gallery, but let's call this our senior gallery. And let me add a section here. And oh, what the heck? Oh, no, let's just make it simple. I don't want to go crazy here. Um, and put a title. And we know that's our gallery page. And I don't need to put any text in there. Let me add an image to make it quick. And let's see if this is a prettier image here. I'll drag uh, this one and see if this works. Hopefully, it wasn't the same way as just drug. No, it's different. Okay. And uh, let me close that up. And with this could be a gallery. And, and again, I can add all these sections. When I click on add sections, I got all the power. I can add movies in here. I can add more contact buttons or anything I want inside here. Um, but I don't want to add anything. I'm happy with this section. And let me close. And again, you can't see it. But if I move over the hourglass, there's my gallery. Here's my information about the senior page. And here's the default. Okay. So that is what... Um, the way you can add pages. And we've got the pages added. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to navigate between um, the various pages. And it's very powerful. You have a number of ways that you can navigate between pages. So looking forward to seeing you in the next video. And the next video is the menu video.